is the following function odd. Now, I have to apologize for this one a little bit. This requires a couple... It requires you to know a couple of facts about trig, some uh, trigonometric identities. And if you know them, this question is easy, and if you don't know them, well, you're going to know them in a minute. And what they are, briefly, is the function cosine x has even symmetry, and the function sine x has odd symmetry. Why that is is actually pretty interesting, and if you want to hear about it, you can either check with your instructor or if you if you Google the phrase power series for sine x or power series for cosine x, it turns out each of these is an infinitely long polynomial, and that's the beginning of the explanation for why they have these symmetries that they do. But for this question, let me just write out what explicitly what each of those means. That sine x has odd symmetry means if you do sine negative x, you get this. And you'll find this on most pages of trig identities down in the corner where people don't look at it very much. What it means is if you do the sine of minus 30, what you'll get is the same as sine 30 except with a negative sign in front of it. In other words, putting a negative on your angle will give you a negative version of the usual answer. For cosine, with even symmetry, if you put a negative on your angle, nothing happens. Cosine doesn't notice the difference between, say, minus 20 degrees and 20 degrees. It treats them equally. Sine does notice the difference. If you give sine minus 20, it gives you the same answer as for sine 20, except that negative sign actually carries through. That's what odd symmetry means. So, if we do our symmetry test on f of x up here, where there used to be an x, we put negative x instead. Well, we'll get cosine negative x minus, that minus is because there's one in the original function, sine of negative x. And how does that turn out? Cosine negative x, according to this, is the same as just plain old cosine x. So that negative falls off. The function doesn't care about it. Here, we get the sine of negative x is the same as negative sine x. So if you put a negative into cosine, it just vanishes. If you put a negative into sine, it pops out at the front. These two negatives cancel. And so we get cosine x plus sine x. Now, does that match our original function? Nope. It is not identical to the original function. And that tells us this has no symmetry. What's actually happening is cosine has even symmetry, sine has odd symmetry, and so they're pulling in opposite directions. They conflict, and you end up with a combined function that has no symmetry at all.